after entering the data and performing calculations, it is very important to format the cells. In this case, I have created a small piece of data on which we are going to format the cells to make it a more attractive report for people to whom we are about to send this report. In this case, you can see this is the title of the report, but right now it is not coming correctly. So in this case, what I want is that I should select the cells and I want to merge it through. So in this case, I have selected it and you can see that merge and center option. There are a lot of options that you can see over here, merge across, merge cells, but right now I want to go with merge and center. When I click on it, you can see the impact over here. And then as it's a title, I need to change few things in it. For example, the font. The font style that you can change, for example, right now I can go with area. If I choose it, now it's a heading, so I should also increase the font size. And let me increase it to 16. And right now I can put it bold and italic. I'm not sure that we are going to put it italic, but it's a title and an underline is also not required. You can also increase or decrease the size using these A's. This is to increase it and this is to decrease it. And the cell you can see right now, we can change the color also. We can give a color, but it's a professional advice that I can give you. Do not assign those very highlighted color or very bright color. If you want to use the color, always use a very light color or you do not use a color. Always try to avoid it. For example, I can go with this very light color and now you can see that these are the headings of this report. So I'll select it and I click on bold itself. I'm not going to increase the font size, but I put it bold to stand it apart. Do the same thing for this also. I'll bold it. The shortcut for this is control B, which is a universal shortcut. And in this case, I want to put a grid over here. So I'll select this whole data and I'll put a border over it. You can see a lot of options are coming in this border. We'll go with all border. I'll click on it and here we go. You can see the impact. Now I'll select this whole data and in place of putting it on the left, either on the left or right align, what I'll do, I'll put it a center align. Now you will see the difference and it look pretty good. In the end, what we'll do, we'll select the whole table and we'll put another border which is a thick border it's all up to you formatting is all up to you but it's just a few things that makes pretty graceful about this you can also change the font color if you want but i obviously always go with this black one because that's a pretty much professional as compared to other different colors you can also change the direction or orientation of this you can see it you can change it also a lot of things are available as and when you can see, for example, if I change it to products from India and if I press enter, you can see that it's not coming in this cell. In that case, either I, you know, expand the width as we have discussed earlier also, but somehow the problem is that the width of B column is pretty much big as compared to the rest of the columns, which is kind of not symmetrical. So I'll undo is by pressing control Z. And in this case, what I'll do, I'll increase the width of this row by clicking on it and dragging it a bit down. And now as I'm standing on this cell, I'll click on this wrap text. When I click on it, it'll fit in this particular cell. And now there's again, not symmetrical things that you can see that this is filled and these are a bit empty and these are down aligned. So what I'll do, I'll select it in total and I'll click on this middle align. So now it is looking pretty much good as compared to earlier formatting now this is one way to do it else if you want to change the width of the column or a row we have a direct options which are available under the cells group and format you can see this row width if i click on it you can actually assign a number to it for example right now it is 20.25 so let me change it to 22 and if i press ok you can see it will increase so these are the ways that you can use. Apart from that, as we have formatted it manually, we do have already predefined styles under the styles and cell styles. You can see different styles available and you can choose any titles style if you are looking for this. It will save a bit of time, but I really prefer to go it by my way. Else you can choose these headings also. These are also good. No issues with that. Different colors are also available. And you can actually create a new style that you have created and save it over here for future use. The other way is that you can actually select the data like this. And we have a direct formatting as a table styles. If I click on it, you can see a lot of styles are there. If I choose any one style like this, if I press OK, you can see that a table is formed by Excel itself.
Thank you.